Hi everyone, so Cyan Gem Mod 11 is finally here, which is based off Android 4.4 KitKat, and so far there are nightly versions available for the LTE and 3G variants of the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. Once again, unfortunately, nothing for the Galaxy S4 Mini duos. So before we proceed with the installation and the quick review, I must let you know that this is a nightly version, so you should expect to see any bugs and so on on the ROM. So let's start off with powering off the device. Power off your Galaxy S4 Mini completely and also be sure to have downloaded the ROM zip file and the GApps zip file for the Google Apps such as Google Play, Gmail and so on. Power off your Galaxy S4 Mini and then boot into recovery mode by holding the home button, the power and the volume up at the same time. So the installation process is pretty much the same just like on any custom ROM which you have installed. Still I'm going to make a demo on how to install this. So boot into recovery mode and now the first thing which you need to do is you need to select wipe data, factory reset, clear out of these old settings and uh, apps. After this there is no need to wipe cache as you can see it says formatting cache. There we go it is done and now finally you may head into install zip which is the second option then choose it from external SD card and now locate the ROM zip file CM11 and so on ok here it is so first of all install the custom ROM then install the GF zip file so choose yes this should take about 10 to 20 seconds and it should be done and there we go, install from SD card complete, once again choose zip from external SD card and this time select gapps zip file. Once again choose yes to confirm. This should take uh, less time than the ROM did, just a few seconds and the app should be installed. And it is done, at this point go back to the main menu and select reboot system now. Now you just need to wait for your Galaxy S4 Mini to boot up. So the first boot took a while, but finally the ROM has started up, so I'm just gonna skip these things here now. I'm gonna go straight forward into the home screen. And there we go, now we seem to have two launchers here, let's take a look at the first, which is the Google Experience launcher, judging by the icon. So let's pick this one. There we go guys, as you can see, definitely KitKat running here, we've got the white stairs bar icons the launcher and everything else so far as for performance as you can see it manages to run smoothly going through pages and settings and so on seems to work just fine but like I said this is a nightly build so expect to have some bugs either by the camera or something else so I currently just set up the ROM I have added my Google account I have added my Wi-Fi network as you can see Wi-Fi is functioning well the mobile data network is also, fun is also functioning well um, one problem which I have just noticed is as soon as I installed Google Chrome the app didn't appear in the app drawer neither did it appear anywhere else on the pages here I had to reload the launcher in order for the app to appear this was kind of weird but yeah it works at least and uh, let's take a look at one of the main stuff here let's start off with the camera let's see if it is working so it does take pictures from the looks of it or at least it can preview let me just take a quick photo okay that is working let's switch to video so yep it is recording video as you can see let me stop the recording now and play the video well no issues with the camera so that is good to know so as I mentioned already earlier the ROM seems to be working smooth as butter as you can see everything loads up fast there's nothing wrong with the performance here everything seems to work just fine let's take a look at the settings what we have here there we go so you get to enjoy now all of the KitKat features comes rooted as you can see super user obviously this is Synergy mod let's take a look at the about phone let's just take a look at the image here the easter egg
there we go Android 4.4 KitKat so this is running just fine okay and obviously I'm pretty sure that all the customization options will also work such as uh, modifying the notification drawer to change things around moving around the widgets and buttons as well as changing the home walk screen and also the icons such as the battery having a circle a battery bar percentage and so on but we're gonna take a quick look at these things now so I'm gonna head into interface I'm gonna head into status bar battery status style let's take a look at if we okay as you can see it works we have an icon now quick settings panel so yeah we have access to these options here notification drawer expanded desktop you can also change some of the settings on the launchers and lastly I'm gonna do a quick test and see if the Google command works okay Google as you can see it is working the command is working just fine so okay the launcher is functioning pretty well and the last step would be to take a look at the screen of animation so yeah that's pretty much it for now I cannot really go into detail about all the features because this is a nightly build so it has some bugs probably somewhere hidden you can find them out if you test this if you have it running for a few days and you can notice what is working and what is not as soon as there is a stable version of this Cyanogen Mode 11 we're gonna make a video and we're gonna have a quick uh, a full review of all of the features what is functioning how it's functioning and so on so I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said earlier this ROM is currently available for LTE and 3G users unfortunately nothing for the Galaxy S4 Mini Duos users if you want to download this head into the link in the video description and you can find all of the necessary downloads once again everyone, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.